Hi everyone, my name is Kelly and I'm a librarian at EVPL. To highlight Banned Books Week, today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite young adult books that have been either challenged or banned at some point in the past. Before we get started, I did want to share a few reasons about why books are sometimes challenged or banned. Books are typically challenged by someone who either disagrees with the content in the book, such as a religious or political viewpoint, or maybe see something in the book as inappropriate or offensive. Many times books are challenged often with the intent to protect children from certain types of content or specific topics, and while this may be well-intentioned, any form of censorship is a violation of First Amendment rights. To learn more about all of this, make sure you go to ala.org slash bbooks. The first book I want to talk about is called Out of Darkness by Ashley Hope Perez. The reasons cited for challenges to this book were because it contains sexual content and depictions of abuse, and it was actually on the top 10 most challenged books list of 2021. Out of Darkness is a historical fiction novel that opens at the scene of a terrible tragedy, the 1937 New London School Explosion in Texas. Working its way back, it chronicles a love that develops between a Mexican-American girl named Naomi and an African-American boy named Wash, which at this time in history was a totally taboo relationship. This story explores everything from segregation to family to love, and it does not shy away from the overt racism that non-white people experience at this time in our country. This is an absolutely gripping novel that is beautifully written. I love this book and would recommend it to anyone that wants to get completely wrapped up and immersed in an emotional story. I was enthralled after reading just the first page. The next book I want to talk about is called Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany Jackson. This book has been challenged before because it mentions sexual situations. Monday's Not Coming is told from the perspective of a girl named Claudia, whose best friend, Monday, has gone missing. However, no one seems to notice except for Claudia. She keeps asking questions, searching for clues as to Monday's whereabouts, but no one seems to care except for her. This is a gut-wrenching, suspenseful mystery, but also a commentary on a larger problem within society of how many girls of color seem to go missing or fall through the cracks. The book grapples with a harsh reality while interweaving stories of love, community, friendship, and healing. The next book I want to talk about is called Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allier Sines. This book has been challenged because it is an LGBTQ plus romance and it has appeared on a list of books that might make students feel discomfort, anguish, or guilt because of their race or sex. This book follows the story of Ari and Dante, two teen boys who are complete opposites. One day they happen to meet at a local pool and they become instant, inseparable best friends. Even while Dante moves to Chicago throughout the school year, they end up maintaining their friendship through letters both struggling with normal teenage boy hardships. Throughout many tragedies and difficulties, it becomes clear that Ari and Dante's relationship grows stronger than more than just friendship. This is a beautifully written story that explores love, family, and the power of overcoming fear. The two characters are so well developed that you really do get to know them well, and I also really like that it's chock full of artistic and literary references. Thanks for listening to me talk about some of my favorite challenged or banned young adult books. As always, you can find these books at EVPL.